Within the Harmony project, what we're aiming to do is pool large cohorts of clinical trial data from across the major clinical study groups in the EU. And what we're hoping to do um, address with that is identify uh, key risk factors, uh, principally genetic and genomic risk factors. And the reason why we want to do that in, um, within Harmony rather than individually is because many of these abnormalities are only present in a relatively small number of patients, frequently less than 10%. So within individual clinical trials, it's very difficult to assess the prognostic impact of those uh, uh, abnormalities within patients. Whereas if we pool it across multiple uh, clinical trials, we can then get a much better idea about what the prognostic impact is. So ideally what we're looking for is abnormalities that indicate a very good response to standard chemotherapy and also the exact opposite, patients that have a very poor response uh, to clinical uh, standard chemotherapy so that they can be given um, novel or targeted therapy in the future. The next step in the Harmony project for haematological malignancies um, in childhood is to convince the individual clinical study groups around the EU to release their data. Um, there is a huge amount of data management and data analysis that needs to take place in order to be able to harmonise the data from multiple different clinical trials onto a single platform. So what we're doing at the moment is assessing the number of clinical trials that would be available uh, for such a project in order to take that forward and set up data sharing agreements in the near future in order to be able to pool these data and uh, perform the kind of analysis that we're interested in.